Hi everyone, Scott with Cyberscribe.org, and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a DHCP server on your Sonic Wall, and uh, we'll set it up for dynamic addressing and uh, a couple static addresses too. So, previous video I showed you how to register, how to get basic internet connectivity. So what I did is I moved over to my desktop, and so now we're at 1080p. So remember, just uh, highest quality and full screen when you're watching. And the only thing that I did was I changed the uh, subnet to the subnet that I'm using 172.20.100.1 so after that I did make some changes in the DHCP server but that's what we're going to talk about anyways other than that no other changes in the sonic wall itself so let's go to the DHCP server here and we'll talk about some things so right away you see that enable DHCP server is checked this is the default at least when I uh, I didn't make any changes to it I come in here it's checked so that tells me it's the default so just be aware if you're using like some other uh, thing for DHCP address assignment you know if make sure to uncheck this then but uh, for our purposes uh, my network isn't really that big what we're gonna do and it's a test one anyways so what we're gonna do is uh, is just enable the DHCP server on here let the sonic wall do a little bit of work and uh, and we'll just go from there. One thing, it is uh, already by default on. And one thing that you will see is not that. Hold on. Okay. So you're not going to have a static. This is I did this. So this is not going to be your configuration. And we'll add another static one, and then uh, all that good stuff. Uh, but you will have a dynamic scope, and your scope is going to be so my. Uh, the IP of the sonic wall is 172.20.100.1 the scope is going to be for the whole subnet so it's going to be .2 to .254 unless you have that many users you probably want to skinny it down a little bit so I just went 11 to .99 and uh, I enabled it configured there we go so right now we see I have two addresses uh, right here and uh, you know one is a dynamic assignment and then one is a static assignment so the dynamic is this one this is a just a virtual server here so let me get to it and I'm just gonna go IP config release okay so now what we should see here is we should see that that should be taken off yeah see that so 110 was there, 110 is no longer there. Now what I'm going to do, and that is this one here. So let me go in, let me just IP config renew, and the sonic wall should, uh, should show up. So I have one more server that I'm going to add. So let's just do a static entry for that real quick. And then uh, we can be on our way. It's not it's not a huge, uh, huge production to get the uh, to get the address and working like this. So, uh, all right, let's go back. Let's see, and you see that it came back at 110 one more time. So let's renew or refresh, and we should see it comes back up. All right. So I'm gonna do uh, just do another uh, Windows Server here, virtual one and we'll just get this all set up and let me just do it through PowerShell so IP config all 20.204 so this is where this is where I'm at right now so these are the things I want to change okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to add static and then let me get the server back up move some things around okay so this is going to be the, I think I called, what did I call it? Hold on. Yeah. So, you know, you want to get some kind of naming convention down too. So I'm just going to say 2008 DC. All right. And I'm just going to say 172.20.100.120. Ethernet address is going to be D2. And you see I'm looking in PowerShell right for that. F0, 13, 
4a, 0, 3, 6a. So basically, the sonic wall is controlling the static assignment of this. So we're still going to do, like, treat it like uh, obtain the address automatically from the server itself. But it's, uh, so the sonic wall will see that. It'll see that it's a reserved address, and it'll give always the reserved address. And then 255. Okay. And we should be good there. Uh -huh. All right, hold on. Default gateway, I did. There we go. And sometimes, you know, when you get those errors, sometimes they are pretty decently descriptive where you can kind of figure out what you did wrong. So here we have that, and I'm going to go ipconfig release, and then ipconfig renew. We'll let it go, and what we should see is it should populate and it should also populate in the sonic wall. So that will be a static configuration there. And, uh, okay, so we see that 172.2100.120. Let's do an IP config all and see what DNS servers we're getting here. Okay, and we are getting the DNS servers that we put in the DNS tab, so just to make sure. So we're good there too. Now let's refresh. There we go. You see that right there. So that's good. Uh, 20, 100.23, that's just my uh, local one here. So if we really want to be thorough, we'll just go ipconfig. If I can type, release, and then ipconfig, renew. Before I do renew, let me, uh, let's just double check. Make sure it goes off. Hold on. Okay. Oh well. Yeah, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Because I'm uh, I released my IP. You see that? And I didn't renew it yet. So that's oops. Don't want to do that. That's why we're getting this. So you see that? I released it, and I don't have an IP right now. So what we'll do? is let's just renew it and this should come back and then we should be able to log back into the sonic wall and after that I think we're good I mean you know with DHCP the biggest thing is you just wanna make sure that you're not uh, that you're not you don't have multiple servers running or like you know collisions uh, different scopes and things like that so you kinda if your network is not really that uh, it's not really that let's say convoluted then it's probably not gonna be as big of a deal and there we go, 23. And uh, dynamic, you see there, that is me. Let's just uh, be very, very thorough and just make double check that MAC address. And where are we at? 23. MAC address ends in 20.91. 20.91. So that's really it for uh, setting up a DHCP server on the Sonic Wall. Uh, just remember, you want to probably skinny down the scope to begin with, and uh, then add your static addresses. And then also, just remember, it is going to be enabled by default. Okay. So that's all I had for this video, and stay tuned for future videos.